I'm changing the fuel, the fuel filter real quick. I had a simple broke breakdown, so the fuel filter got dirty and the truck started running rough. So we're gonna change the fuel filter out. Show y'all what the, the new one looking like. Quick little video. My truck started shaking while I was driving. I don't want to contaminate it, but see, that's the clean one right here compared to the, the dirty one. See right there? That's the difference. See all that black stuff in there? Yeah, you want to try to get that out and wipe up in there. See that dirty stuff? I think that's coming from one of my fuel lines. That, that fuel line right there pointing at, right there. I changed everything else but that one. I need to change the fuel line from the fuel pump to the fuel separator, water separator. You see the water in there? See that water? That's water right there. I don't want to wipe that water up. So what I'm going to do put that right there for now. Put this in my pocket. I'm going to grab a plastic bag so you can put that in. See, that's, this, this will shut you down on the highway right here. This, this definitely shut you down. Definitely shut you down on the highway. That is black. You're going to put that there for now. Always make sure you got a wrench, too. This wrench, pretty much for this. It goes right on there. Right up in there. Go up for the top side. See? That wrench set up in there. So I keep one of these wrenches in my truck. Make sure it's a it's a vent cap. And plus it takes off the cap too. Alright. What are we gonna do real quick? I know I should have some gloves on, but it is what it is. Take some paper towels and wipe that up real quick. I'm just hoping it's my fuel filter and other than a few in an injector, but it shouldn't be an injector. I didn't have a problem, but let's see what happens. I'm hoping not. You gotta wipe all that up. Wipe it all up. We're gonna dump the rest of it out inside that container right there. When you're on the road like this, usually I put a bottle of 911 in here, but I don't have a bottle right now because it's an emergency, so I gotta try to pull some of this back in the fuel tank. Not all of it though. And what you wanna do while you're under here, you wanna hit this little nozzle right here. Whatever's left in there, let it go down. That's all. Try to hold it so you don't spill it. Close it off, and that's it. See, bottle of 911. That's what I used to put back in there, but I ain't got no more right now. So pretty much what you're gonna do is this. Take that. Another paper towel. So what happens when in cold weather situations, you gotta make sure you got filters on hand. That could go there. I got another one. When you buy the filter, it comes with it comes with the O-rings. It comes with one, two, and one in my pocket. So it comes with the O-rings, so you ain't gonna worry about that too tough. Try to clean in there. You ain't gotta be no expert with this. Take the same diesel, and you're gonna clean on the outside. Try to clean some of the dirt off. Don't worry about the gloves. Don't worry about the smell, because what's gonna happen is the tow truck record come, hoping it's just a problem. You can always buy new gloves. Don't worry about all that. Record come, they're gonna charge your arm and a leg, you know, to get you towed, to get you to a shop. If anything, I call the company I'm leased on to, and I see if they could come down here and give me a hand. But right now, this is about the simplest thing that you can do, really. Just like I said, wipe in there. Put all over in the little bag right there. Like I said before, it's gonna come with his own kit. What we gonna do, we're gonna take this O-ring here. We don't need that big one. Just this one here. Now the O-ring goes on top here. I don't wanna move it move too fast, but it goes there. This goes here. Try to get it to sit firmly, there you go. This right here, this stays in. This goes on top of this right here. You're gonna pop that there. Hold on, let me get the little range off that real quick. 
Well, it's pretty much not rain, but snow. Snowing out here right now. I need to get some more, put some more cooling in there when I get back to the yard. So what you're gonna do here, pop that on top. That's that right there. Then you're gonna take this right here, put this right over it. You're gonna put this to the side. That's for the vet cap. Yeah, I go home and wash, throw this in the washing machine. Right now, I just wanna get this on real quick. Try to use your hands in the beginning. You clean them down, hand sanitizer, whatever. Put the glove back on. Get this right here. Might have to lose a little bit of ether, but we'll see what happens. So the good thing is there, I, I caught it, and just hoping it's not the injector, but I caught it before it died. Now I'm pretty much on the shoulder, right here in Mount Pocono. Got off the exit, anybody know Mount Pocono exit for Tannerville. I got off the exit for Tannerville to come over here. Hold up. Down a little bit. Oh, you don't want to break that. I do not want to break that. And I had it, this thing to save me a lot of money. I usually do this when I change my oil tank, but because of the weather, I might have to check my books now and I might have to do oil change. That, that'll come this week. But well, if you're gonna do this right now, see how clean that is compared to the one I took out of here. Like I said, this will get you off the road. Something simple, man. Just something simple will get you off the road. So, I had to pull the whole truck over. <clears throat> just a little tight. You don't want it too tight? Just a little bit. Just a little snug. <sighs> Woo, that's that. And what I mean by the vent cap, this your vent cap right here. So pretty much pop that off right there. Put this one on right here, like so. Put this in the plastic bag. Watch, keep a little trash bag with you, you know? Oh, shit. Always keep a little trash bag with you. Put that in there. Don't expect for too many people to come rock with you because ain't nobody really gonna pull over. You might see a couple truck drivers will holler at you, but other than that, you pretty much do it yourself. Like I said, I, I don't know if they got 911 over there in that truck stop. I don't know if they do or shit. We got some 911. We're gonna put this diesel back in here. I really don't wanna do it. Some people put the diesel back. I don't really like putting the diesel in there. But right now, like I said, I don't have no other choice because I ain't got no, no 911 on me. 911 is this red bottle I got. Just take your time. You don't want to spill everything on the ground. See, all that dirt, what you seen, all that, that's at the bottom. So I ain't got to worry about that too tough. Just want to get that back in there. Make sure that vent cap, make sure that is up. The one time you can mess, make a mistake and you're gonna close that, it'll pull right out the bottom. So make sure you got that vent up. Make sure it's locked before you start pulling this in there. Uh, just word of wise, just make sure you got that in there. I, might, I hope they got, they might have some 911 in there. So I might have to go across the street if I ain't got enough to start the truck, but right now we're gonna try to get it. Get as much as I can get in there. That should work, see what happens. Hopefully it'll work. There's the vent cap right here. Put this, make sure you gotta put this back on. Put that back on. I should have enough. I don't think I have enough, but you gotta try to get it filled right here, but hope they got some across the street. Turn it to a click. I'll leave everything here. Let's get back in the truck and see what it is.
could happen to anybody. Old truck, new truck, anybody, so see what happened. Turn that, turn this off, turn that off. All right, let's see. All you gotta do is give it gas. It's gonna start like he's gonna lose pressure. He's gonna have to pump the gas, that's all. 